yeah so now let me tell you something about group discussion first couple of things as you know there is a structure and those of you who will master this structure will never face any trouble in group discussion irrespective of whether you know the topic or not jinko structure aata hai unko topic na bhi aaye to kaam chal jata hai group discussion ke andar abhi structure acquire karna to know about structure is a matter of 3 to 4 gds that is what i understand now uh, 3 to 4 gds if you participate properly then you will master that structure and structure means you should know that in gd there are three parts one is introduction part second is the body part and third is conclusion part in the body in the introduction part only 20% thing is something which depends upon the topic 80% things are already known to you which you can practice so a uh, good evening friends my name is sandeep and i take the opportunity to initiate the discussion uh, friends uh, the topic given for the discussion today is this in my opinion it is very very relevant topic not only that it is interesting topic also so i am very sure all of you have some really good points to contribute here in my opinion and then you add one line if you want to add and then uh, friends i open the house for the discussion uh, for all of us now this this will take 2 minutes 1 uh, to 2 minutes depending on the pace uska practice kar lo bahut acche tarike se practice kar lo jaise bolta introduce karo just jump and introduce normally aajkal jo gd ho rahe hain jaise nmdc ka gd abhi hua in that they are telling everyone to introduce that is one format but the format uh, uh, which you should prepare yourself is like if only one is to introduce you should be the first to introduce and with the speed and fluency you should enter into the discussion now second part is the body part so body part mein kya hai uh, aapne yes one more thing is like in the introduction part whatever topic is given to you in the introduction you are to tell the group about the topic in such a way that this is what we should discuss uh, introduction mein you are to give direction to the discussion so if you give if you give direction to the discussion that means you already emerge as a leader of discussion you will tell that friends okay i believe this topic can be discussed under these heads under these verticals and then uh, you open the discussion the moment you open discussion whatever heads aapne diye the unke bare mein bolna start karo and body part is very simple you have to nod you have to listen to others you have to take their view you have to put your view either you have to agree with them you have to disagree with them it is very very simple so body part mein contribute karna is very simple not difficult sunte rahoge baat to tumhe yaad reh jayega हाथ में अगर पेन और पेपर वो दे भी दें सब जगह देते नहीं है अगर पेन और पेपर दे भी दें तो डू नॉट राइट सेंटेंस आई रिपीट डू नॉट राइट सेंटेंस राइट द वर्ड्स ओनली वर्ड्स और वर्ड्स के बेस पे ही तुम और तुम्हें पूरा पढ़ना नहीं होता है तुम्हें जस्ट ग्लैंस थ्रू करना होता है आंखों को थोड़ा सा लेके जाना और देखना क्या लिखा हुआ दैट्स इट बाकी आपका आई कॉन्टेक्ट मेंबर्स के साथ होना चाहिए कॉपी के साथ नहीं वन मोर थिंग आई विल टेल यू डू नॉट सी ऑब्जर्वर Do not observe the observer. उसकी तरफ मत देखो उसको एड्रेस मत करो सर करके उसको रेफर मत करो वो एक आइसोलेटेड बिग बॉस है जो आपको ऑब्जर्व कर रहा है आपने उसको नहीं देखना है That's it. और आप एक दूसरे के साथ जेस्टर पोस्टर नॉडिंग करते रहो तीसरा पार्ट है कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन आपका नहीं होता पूरे ग्रुप का होता है तो फ्रेंड्स वी हैवर ग्रेट डिस्कशन वी हैड ग्रेट डिस्कशन एंड सम मेंबर्स आर ऑफ दिस ओपिनियन कई बार वो नंबर देता है आप हर मेंबर का नंबर होता है मेंबर नंबर फोर सेट दिस मेंबर नंबर थ्री सेट दिस अगर नाम पता है तो नाम से बोल सकते हैं अदरवाइज नंबर से आप बात कर सकते हैं फिर एंड में आपने कंक्लूजन कर दिया बहुत से जीडीज ऑलरेडी योर पीडिया के यूट्यूब चैनल पे पड़े हुए हैं उनको आप एक बार सुनना उनका कंक्लूजन पार्ट जरूर सुन लेना सबका जहां एंड में मैं कंक्लूजन करता हूँ और पूरे डिस्कशन को समराइज करता हूँ वो दो से तीन मिनट का टॉपिक आपने सुनना है दैट इज सफिशियंट और योर पीडिया वेबसाइट के ऊपर बहुत से करंट टॉपिक्स हैं एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू जितने भी जीडी अभी हुए एनएमडीसी एंड ऑल सारे टॉपिक्स वहीं से थे जो हमने वहां पे डाला हुआ है दैट इज व्हाट यू कैन इवन लिसन टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु गो फॉर एनएमडीसी एम एंड ऑल सो वहीं से आएंगे क्योंकि हमने सारे डाल दिए हैं उस पर और कहाँ से वो पूछ लेगा सो नॉलेज पार्ट आपको वहां से अपना वेबसाइट से उठाना है दो मिनट का भी वीडियो डाला है चार मिनट का भी डाला है पच्चीस मिनट का भी डाला हुआ है ये अब आपके ऊपर है आप कितना एफर्ट लगा सकते हैं और कितना नॉलेज एक्वायर कर सकते हैं वेन एवर यू आर टू प्रिपेयर फॉर जीडी, एक कॉपी लो एक पेन लो और कॉपी और पेन के साथ हर टॉपिक के बारे में दो चार दो चार पॉइंट लिखना स्टार्ट करो 
ऐसे आप अपना जीडी की तैयारी कर सकते हैं एंड इफ यू डू दैट नॉलेज पार्ट आपके पास रहेगा जिससे कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा बट एज आई टोल्ड यू मैं आपको इस तरीके से ट्रेन करना चाहता हूँ कि आपको टॉपिक ना भी आए इवन देन आप जी को पास कर सके जी के मार्क्स नहीं होते ऐसा नहीं होता कि साहब इसको बहुत ज्यादा नंबर दे कम है ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं होता लेकिन यस मेजोरिटी प्लेसेस पे ये रिजेक्शन राउंड होता है कि इसको जी में नहीं पास करना है हमें उसको अवॉइड करना है सेट और वो बड़े सिंपली स्ट्रक्चर को समझ के आप अवॉइड कर सकते हैं सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर माई साइड अब बिफोर आई गिव यूर टॉपिक एनी क्वेश्चन यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू कैन आस्क एंड आई गिव यूर टॉपिक एंड वी प्रोसीड फॉरवर्ड शुड वी स्टार्ट देन सर राइट द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक टॉपिक इज एक्सपीरियंस वर्सेस कैपेबिलिटी एक्सपीरियंस वर्सेस कैपेबिलिटी एंड ऑल द टॉपिक्स व्हिच आई गिव यू आर इधर आस्ट इन रिसेंट समवेयर और प्रोबेबल एक्सपीरियंस वर्सेस कैपेबिलिटी आई गिव यू 30 सेकंड्स देन आई विल कम टू ईच वन ऑफ यू एंड ईच वन ऑफ यू विल इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर 2 मिनट्स ओके सो आई थिंक आयुष्मान कैन स्टार्ट Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, my name is Ayush Mandar, and I am glad to start the discussion on our topic, which is uh, experience versus capability. Uh, in any organization that we see today, uh, either in politics, either in sport, uh, the whole team or the main team, which is consist, uh, which represent us, is a combination of these two. So I think it's a very relevant topic, and I hope uh, the as the discussion goes on further. uh my members uh, my uh, colleagues uh, will be ready uh, will be ready with their uh, new points and will take the discussion further so i would like to open the discussion for the group now okay ankit yes 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 basically in the topic experience versus capability both the terms have their separate importance first of all the experience experience is basically a term given to a experience basically a broad term that is given when a person learn from their failure because experience is given because experience is very important for any person uh, sorry sir i am trying sir okay so i think shubham can proceed now mm, okay sir i am audible yes Yes, okay. uh, sir, in my opinion, uh, experience uh, is ex- experience is that uh, the person uh, who have a knowledge uh, about a particular domain in his domain, and he uh, he will do a best. He uh, he uh, he will do um, just like he he, he will do uh, his. okay i'll come back to you uh, shubham and ankit just now i'll again come back to you just memorize couple of lines himanshu please unmute yourself yes uh, hello sir audible yeah <coughs> good evening all of you my name is himanshu and we have assembled here for a group discussion and the topic is experience versus capability Uh, i think uh, this is very relevant and uh, general topic and it is required in uh, almost every organization uh, these days uh, what experience means is uh, basically if you do some work for uh, some time then you acquire some experience for yourself and capability comes with uh, some courses you have done uh, uh, and you have not uh, exp- have uh, applied these courses in the industries and uh, so from where you have the capability but you do not have experience so for a organization to run both type of person is needed and uh, uh, with these points i uh, i welcome all of you to come in the discussion and uh, uh, i i i am very very much uh, happy to participate in the discussion sandeep yeah good evening everyone this is sandeep and uh, we are here to have a uh, group discussion on the topic given to us experience versus capability uh, which is the most important topic for any job or a, any profession 
so the topic given has got two verticals one is the experience and one is the capability uh, experience is a uh, one thing which everyone acquires by virtue of their capability capability is uh, one more uh, perspective of a person which uh, he acquires uh, during the due to his education background and the circumstances which, which he go the more the capable the person is the more experienced uh, rich person he can be so he will be always be asset if a person has got both the facility both the uh, qualities of experience and capability i invite all the members to share their views and we, we will make this uh, group discussion a fruitful and a very conclusive discussion okay okay so uh, ankit would you like to again come Yes, sir. फील्ड and basically these two the terms experience and the capability both have their separate importance experience is basically a, a name given to the given experience is basically a name given when a person learn from his failure and the capability is a something that is related to the will power that is related to the physical strength like i am giving the example of the workman and the executive the workman has the capability to do the work while the ex while the executive have the experience to do that work or they have the relevant skills that he has learned from their previous failures so basically both the terms have their separate importance and we can't compare these two okay now i think shubham you can try once again uh, good evening to all of you uh, my name is shubham and i am glad to here to put my uh, thoughts on this group discussion so experience uh, in my opinion experience is that uh, the person have a knowledge about that thing and uh, he do the thing in a well manner and uh, capability is uh, uh, is to do any work of uh, like that this is okay. my point okay so now i think uh, i open the house for discussion among all of you please maintain the decorum and uh, speak and discuss with others so please start now Yeah, we would like to uh, just introduce so uh, and uh, topic, uh, this thing on experience, experience and capability. capability. First, we will uh, like to uh, uh, define on the experience. So, experience, experience and capability the, are the two uh, criteria which of any organization that the, we know. Uh, we have seen that uh, we are saying here that uh, what are the points that we can discuss upon when they both are standing against each other. That experience versus capability. For example, if I have to give uh, my views uh, on experience. then experience in any organization or in any work field will let you know that how to work in that organization what is the work culture of that organization and whenever a challenge will come i will not certainly panic uh, firstly because i must be knowing uh, how the challenges has to be resolved how to react to certain situations and that is what why experience is very important and experience person is very important in any team secondly okay, uh, what, what say, ayushman can, what what ayushman is I telling just, i would like to add uh, some something to you and uh, i would like to support your points with example some examples like we can say uh, see in administrative field uh, where uh, if uh, if a administrator like uh, some is ips comes after selection then he uh, he has to, he has the capability because he has cleared the exam and he has gone through the exactly, training exactly. but 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 he uh, he initially during his uh, probation period he works under some uh, district magistrate uh, for uh, who has a good experience in handling the various situations of the city and same thing we can say that uh, works in every organization like if we say technical uh, some technical organi organization uh, like uh, a, a, any organization say uh, some some psu Uh, there also if we go 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 uh, we go after a selection or we go after a, we as a fresher go then we have the capability we have the knowledge but uh, there also we have to work under someone and uh, from there from them we we learn some experience 
and show uh, what you said and uh, i i am uh, yeah. it's, it's i really agree with your words I also that a capable opinion. person only my can be acquire a good experience so the person who want to acquire a, a good experience should be capable enough uh, so to uh, first uh, to get into organization uh, we should build up our capability then we could get experience the however the organization will have a two different people the capable people will be on the junior front and where the seniors will have the experience where the capability is built up based on experience Please, but the I, juniors I, will I, come up with the uh, capability through their academics so the, this is the two different aspects the experienced people can make the capable persons more uh, uh, value added asset to any organization i also but have as sandeep you said MFS that uh, uh, that I, uh, senior the or the uh, experience should also be always be the senior but i really yes, uh, like yeah. to disagree with yeah, you on this one by one so it because uh, what i feel is uh, that whenever a person is capable he or she uh, he or she must be given the chance to lead the team and the senior one or the experienced one should give a guidance for example in a cricket team only we can see uh, that uh, ms dhoni who was a successful captain by 2014 he left the captaincy and it pa he passed the baton to virat kohli in order to prepare a new captain for the generations to come and he was there he was there in the field and he was there as a guiding force so i what i feel is that capability should be guided by experience and the capable person should be allowed to lead the team uh, i completely agree with you but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. building up uh, before adding the experience the capable person should be nurtured for minimum some time exactly. so that he exactly, exactly. he, he uh, acquires the skills on how to handle the situations Cut what time should be there to day, to that he should be nurtured for a minimum period before he is handed over the capacity yeah. so with that he becomes uh, more effective in his actions and reliability will be there on his actions in that way i see yeah, i also I agree wonder. with you but i would yeah, like i also to want to add point. some yeah. Yeah, I also want to add some points by giving the example. Like I am giving the example of ONGC jobs, because the ONGC assistant executive engineer production also learns from the technician that are deployed in that offshore. So it means that a person gaining the experience from the technician that what what types of common calls are taking place. Since the person has knowledge, he is capable. But since the person doesn't have experience, so he used to learn from that. from that people who has lesser knowledge but has more experience compared to the other so that's why experience is basically a very important capability is also important but in the current scenario if a person has experience then, then definitely if the person has some year of experience then definitely he will automatically become the capable as per my yeah, personal i completely opinion. agree with I, you I, but, uh, but i but really xp uh, the technician may be experienced but the capable person can add value to the experience team there may be new technologies he may be learning more skill set and uh, he will have innovative ideas so when a collaboration happens between experience and a capable person it makes a wonderful team and the results are always yes. uh, very fruitful But, so exactly. i would like to add to ankit's point uh, with this comment i agree But, with uh, Shan, i agree yeah, with sandeep you, and uh, because uh, uh, any team uh, become successful when we have uh, when the team has mixer of both yeah, capa mixture, yeah, yeah combination yeah, of uh, capabilities and uh, experienced persons and uh, show uh, uh, whenever we see that uh, in, in any organization uh, first uh, our focus should be on training and then uh, wh what i have said earlier also that that trained person should have uh, should should have to work under some experienced person and then uh, the mix the, the working of the but, mixer will lead to the uh, su success of organization but himanshu i would like to ask you that how you define experience yeah how you define experience is yeah, it yeah. specifically related to no 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 a... no no i have a, i have a, i have defined it previously also that experience is when you work some work uh, something for a quite period of time then with time there comes experience and but it is possible no that a person yeah, yeah, has it, worked for a more period of time but hasn't got experience of most of the situation and has got easy and situations in the life however a person who has spent a lesser time but has encountered a number of 
situations and number of positions so he must be more capable and he must yeah. be uh, more yeah, yeah. added asset to the current, yes, yes. Uh, company i mean very, very yeah. much to possible. what very he's much exposed possible. to is more important how many challenges yeah. he is countering is more exactly. important and it's not only about the what is his success time. ratio will be more important so these are the things so how he handles yeah. and to what he is facing is more important for a person that counts the experience not on number of hours or the quantum of things he has uh, uh, days he has spent age is nowhere related to experience exactly. the involved yeah. the involvement the misconception yes, that indeed, really, no 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 yes sir i yes, i indeed, i i wait right. to defer on the on the basis of the number of years basically experience if the if there is any mistake or fault then in the that organization if we learn from that mistake if we doesn't repeat that mistake in our future then that experience is basically a fruitful not the number of years we are working in that organization if we doesn't learn from any mistake if we do that blunder repeatedly then that experience is not too fruitful if we are i, I partially agree with you ankit but uh, uh, the the success ratio is more important uh, we can always learn from others experience it uh, does not mean that we should learn from our own experience uh, but, uh, so other experience can be I, advantage i would like to it. disagree with you sandeep that you said that the success ratio is more important yes. uh, but actually what i like to sum up my uh, argument with is that every time a good player is not always a very good coach it doesn't mean that a person who has been very successful in his work it yeah. doesn't mean that he would be very successful in guiding also so i don't think that only successful re- uh, success ratio matters that matters is that how many situations you have encountered how your mind functions how you look at the things so yeah, this I is i would got, like to your i point. have got one more i pers- I, I would like to add here so the failures are the failures uh, the failures will teach us the more lessons than the success so oh, it is always exactly. best to learn yes. from other yes. failures yes. and yes. make ourselves yes. more successful so yes. this is one more perspective i surely agree with you but this is a one more angle where we need and to look at where we need to look at yeah. yeah. see depending see 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 depending, see, 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 depending upon a job Yes, see, depending, depending, yeah, yeah, depending yeah, upon a job, we can say that uh, so what you are saying that the exposure a person has get, uh, he can be more experienced. I agree with this. But depending upon the kind of job, uh, there are uh, many jobs where at least uh, uh, some number of like any layman's job you can say or any construction exactly. job you can say. If a person yeah. if comes uh, with capabilities and without a uh, after some some number of times he can we cannot say that he is experienced in that job. So what you have said that the exposure exactly exposure gives uh, experience at little age also, but it depends upon the what kind of job he or she is involved in. If uh, he or she yeah, involved yeah, yeah. in that that kind of job in which uh, some managerial job or some leadership job, then exposure surely gives experience as an at an early age. But if he at he is at some uh, layman's job, then I think uh, so, uh, the number of hours or uh, he or she is exposed to the surrounding and uh, that environment that will add to his experience. But I, uh, I agree with you. Actually, that at some point, at some point, this is a good possibility. What you can say is the experience. If a person is capable. he can think on his feet he can analyze the things properly i don't think that capability matlab uh, uh, experience is always uh, having a upper end over capability i really feel that capability has gotten a edge over experience every time no, because no, if no, a person no, is capable no no one saying no one saying that experience it has an edge over capability what i am saying is both have equal uh, need in any organization and exactly. both should go pa- parallel Fair. both should, should go parallel and both should, should go hand in hand yes yes yeah, yeah, experience and the capability so that that pair that are ex- that are very necessary for the proper build up of that organization these are basically the most important pillars experience and the capability without experience capability can't do anything and without capability experience doesn't add for value to the any organization exactly these are the things we are trying exactly. to say that you do, both things should run parallelly hand in hand and only then uh, an organization will be successful yeah exactly. a capable person can become uh, experienced but an experienced uh, person cannot build up yeah, the capability yeah. capability yeah. is a must trait we can but exactly. uh, it, uh, it takes yeah, yeah. a capable can person can always become experienced always but experience. experienced person cannot be made capable if he does not have that uh, has that capability yeah, yeah, yeah. has yeah, to be in yeah, you yeah, yeah. experience yeah, yeah. doesn't add you to be a capable person Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. See, we can yes, also see. I am giving the example of our line that if uh, if any engineer, any engineer recruited from any examination in any reputed organization, then he learned that I told earlier he learned from the technician 
although yes. he is capable but yes. he learned yeah. to gain the new experience but the, the practical knowledge the, and theoretical that, knowledge yes, has to made some that, has to yeah that's why the new innovation all these things comes in our mind after seeing all types of future failure can predict can by predicting all types of failure so the capable person is becoming the experience but the experience person the technician that all, all of their their they are very important parts but they are not becoming the capable they are all yeah. their experience uh, but they yeah, are yeah, very good perspective based on other perspective they do it also see see i agree with you but we should add some other perspective to it also see all the jobs are not all experienced person are not technician some mainly so, the, I, uh, I no no he is not the, pointing the, out no, that no, no, there are different types of job profiles exactly different types of job profiles software what, what manufacturing is, uh, managerial yeah, yeah. and uh, he just gave an example services. that every yeah, yeah, i am also thinking that i want to some other perspective here that's why i am giving the example from our line that's yeah yeah i agree but the thing is that i am not saying that there are different domains also As it is very much possible. It is inclined, very much possible that are, experienced person has already acquired some capabilities, and then he has become experienced. It is very much possible in any field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what? Yeah, I, 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 as we are engineers or something, we are inclined. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to see this profile, all. Right? But we, there are many more mm -hmm. angles like managerial yeah, yeah, roles, right. administrative roles, technical roles, and roles. Uh, yeah. intellectual yeah. roles, and this roles. for different things. Yeah. How how yes, the right. experience and capability plays the executive role should be given to the capable uh, and topics. the managerial role should. Mostly or the planning roles. Okay. The no, I think uh, I think we can go for conclusion now. So starting from Sandeep, please conclude the discussion. Yeah. Uh, I thank uh, for providing me opportunity on uh, concluding the thing. So it was a very healthy discussion, and all the members participated. And at the start, we were uh, 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 started with uh, some generic points, but in the process. Uh, uh due to the ecosystem we developed in the discussion we had a very good uh, and a healthy discussion the points made by uh, aishman himanshu and ankit were uh, uh, quite interesting and uh, we would be able to give different perspectives managing the um, uh, all the angles of the experience and capability i hope we have defined the uh, both the verticals in a uh, well defined and a structured way so there were uh, very less uh, differences between the team and uh, we were able to convey a message or go with a conclusion that uh, both are important and it are two verticals with collaboration only we can achieve a fruitful results in organization this was the overall uh, summary or the uh, uh, gist of the discussion uh, i thank all the members for being a active part of this discussion okay no shubham yes sir uh so thank you uh, for uh, for giving me this opportunity to uh, to initiate the conclusion so uh, experience uh, is uh, just like uh, the person have a uh, knowledge about uh, uh, to, its, uh, to its particular field or particular domain so they do think uh, so they uh, work uh, or say they do things in a well manner and capability is to do uh, work and uh, uh, it's uh, when the person become experience then they also become capable just like uh, uh, we do uh, a job as a fresher so first of all company should teach uh, and uh, uh, they should learn Uh, the fresher what will do on the company work uh, what work in during in the company so uh, the conclusion when the person become experienced then they become uh, capable so that's all my side okay aishman yes. okay sir okay so now i would like to take this opportunity to conclude our discussion on the topic experience versus capability and i'm really happy uh, to know that we have reached a consensus where uh, we concluded that experience and capability are ever evolving process and they both are necessary for each other they are uh, they need to go hand in hand for a uh, organization to succeed to be succeeded uh, experience is the uh, guiding force which always drives the capability towards the uh, towards success so i think uh, uh, the points which we were made by all the members here whether it's sandeep shubham ankit himanshu we have reached a particular consensus that they both cannot exist uh, uh, 
uh, lonely. They need to be in parallel and they need to exist for a company's success and they need to go hand in hand. Otherwise, a company will not be able to function either uh, if it is only accomplished by one of the two skills that is either experience or either capability. So thank you and uh, end that. Okay, Ankit. Ankit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Keeping in mind the each and everyone's opinion, we come to a conclusion that experience and their capabilities are the two that plus that are very important for the any organization to sustain. Whether it is experience or capability, both have their separate importance. So we can't say that the anything one is important and anything that is less, less important. So both have their separate importance. And as per my personal opinion, experience is basically a guiding guiding term. Experience is basically acts like a teacher. So basically, experience gives us experience makes the person more capable. So, so after a healthy discussion of 15 to 20 minutes, so we can say that experience and the capability both are basically plays a very important role in any organization. Okay, Himanshu. Yeah. Uh, so after having a very healthy discussion, uh, I am glad to conclude it. And uh, so uh, we, we, ha we had a discussion and uh, I think we all reached at a conclusion that uh, the capabilities and experience both uh, is needed for an organization. And when it go hand in hand and uh, in collaboration with each other, then for sure a, a company is going to be successful. Thank you. Yeah, now let me tell you about your feedback and how it was. I must say that uh, most of you are, I think, uh, uh, just a beginner in GD, but uh, you have presented very well. Uh, so uh, GD, my most important thing is to speak, uh, to speak with passion, to speak uh, continuously, consistently. That is the most important part in GD. So even if you uh, don't speak sense, I mean, you're not talking much sense and uh, you are deviating from the topic. You do not have data. You do not have examples. But you still speak. You try to participate. Even then you can pass the group discussion. But if you do not speak at all, then uh, it is difficult for you to pass the group discussion. So let me tell you like uh, three of you, Sandeep, Ayushman and Himanshu have done good. Really good. Now after that, Ankit comes and Shubham, you will be out of GD. If uh, uh, this GD is to be analyzed to aap bahar nikal jaoge because aapne bola hi kuch nahi hai aapne bahut kam bola hai aur starting jo tha introduction part wo shubham aur ankit ka thoda sa kharab gaya hai wo dhang se nahi bol paye lekin ankit beech mein participate karta raha lekin yes you need to understand the structure jo aap nahi bol paye shuru mein shubham and ankit uska main reason tha structure aap ne follow nahi kiya agar aap structure follow kar loge to there can not be the reason why you are not speaking couple of lines you are you should be in position to speak couple of lines if you follow the structure so structure ko ek bar rat lo jo main structure aapko shuru mein bataya usko ek bar rat lo and us structure ke sath start karo dusra always uh, read the uh, topic very carefully very very carefully uh, what is the topic experience versus capability it is not experience and capability and what is the difference between the two you should be very very clear actually kai baar wo aisa topic deta hai aur students ek direction mein chal padte hain this i give you this as homework to think how you would have participated differently had the topic been experience and capability so aapko bahut meticulously dekhna ki verses kyun diya usne and you have to stick around that and maybe you have to find something very very um, critically into that ki aise topic ka meaning kya hai and after every uh, sentence or after every two, three sentence, come back to the topic. Read the topic. Write it clearly on your copy. Ye topic hai. I'm not to deviate. At, at one point of time, you people started talking about failure, success, failure, success and all. You were deviating. Bahut kam time milega. Maybe four, five sentences you have to add and they should be very, very relevant. Simple, straight, relevant. That's it. Or structure ko follow karo. Uh, GD nikal jayega. GD is very simple. Yaar. Structure, four, five lines. Uh, stick to the topic that's it maybe give one example couple of data if you have and then you have done your job now i'm coming to each one of you sandeep said okay it's an important topic and uh, for a group discussion and i give the vertical so vertical are experience capability and uh, that is what introduction he gave let me tell you introduction i told you to give some kind of direction direction cannot be the topic itself like experience and capability though vertical hai. 
ये वर्टिकल बहुत अच्छे तरीके से डिफाइन नहीं हुआ इनफैक्ट वॉट आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट यू पी विल से ओके फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर द डिस्कशन गिवन टूडे इज एक्सपीरियंस वर्स इज कैपेबिलिटी द टॉपिक शोज दैट वी आर समेयर कंपेयरिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड कैपेबिलिटी नो डाउट कंपेरिजन कैन बी देयर बट इन माई ओपिनियन फ्रेंड्स इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी सक्सेसफुल टीम देन बोथ एक्सपीरियंस एंड कैपेबिलिटी पीपल विद एक्सपीरियंस एंड कैपेबिलिटी आर रिक्वायर्ड सो टू मेक अ गुड टीम इट इज नॉट एक्सपीरियंस वर्स इज कैपेबिलिटी इट इज एक्सपीरियंस एंड कैपेबिलिटी and the second thing friends is that with experience comes capability and uh, capability uh, eventually uh, give some kind of experience also so let's now discuss this entire topic on two verticals uh, like where we think experience is more important and where we think capability is more important because the topic is versus so let's discuss on these fronts ye verticals ho sakte the ki where you think experience is more important and where you think capability is more important and let me give you some example friends capability is important capability gets you job experience gets you promotion uh if i ask if freshers are to be recruited if i am to recruit you in isro what experience do you have of research nothing as of now nothing i am recruiting you purely on the basis of your research aptitude 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 is capability capability Tell me how much experience Tendulkar was having at the age of 16 when he was inducted in Indian 11 team. It was capability of that fellow, but only capability will not take you. Uh, then experience comes, and that comes with effort. So yes, whenever we talk about R&D jobs, something new is to be thought of. Google was created, WhatsApp was created. All these things were created not because of experience. They were created because of aptitude in that direction, right? so you take any genius is born with some capabilities yes they are important now comes the experience experience is something which is really good a person with very small capabilities in particular domain but having interest and having temperament eventually with the experience can do wonders and we have examples we know the cricketers who uh, come into the indian team uh, with a lot a lot of struggle but with the effort and experience and they they become very fine uh, cricketers you know and same is in every walk of life in every field of life so experience is something which is very very important and it is a healthy combination of these two this is the direction which you should have taken so introduction may what i say classification that classification could have been friends let's discuss the domains where experience is more important where capability is more important so capability is more important r and d where you need skill Ex- uh, capability is more important let's talk about experience experience is more important because you have to take decision on the basis of your past experience aapko decision lene hote hain jaise aap bolte ho ki yaar inko to sarkar chalane ka experience nahi hai isko to ye kaam karne ka experience nahi hai wahan pe experience hi chahiye aur hamari team mein dono hone chahiye this would have been very good uh, starting point uh, then sandeep in between kept on starting was done by sandeep in the second part and ayushman of uh, enter ayushman wahan tumhare number kat jayenge because sandeep ne lead le liya tha sandeep was talking you are not to parallelly speak kyunki wo observer ko saaf dikh raha tha ye ladka parallelly baat kar raha hai fir sandeep thodi der mein ruk gaya number sandeep ko mil gaye tumhe nahi mile uske agar main mere ko number dene honge to main sandeep ko dunga so he initiated well and you are obstructing him that that is not to be done uske baad uh, sandeep ne beech mein uh, acche points bole aur uh, एक्सपीरियंस और कैपेबिलिटी की बात बात किया कि जूनियर्स होते हैं उनको हमें एक्सपीरियंस देना होता है दैट एवरीथिंग वाज ओके फेल और सक्सेस के बीच में थोड़ा सा आई थिंक दैट वाज अ डेविएशन लिटिल आई फाउंड सम डेविएशन देयर देयर वाज अ पॉइंट बाकी द रेस्ट वाज गुड फॉर संदीप एंड कंक्लूजन आल्सो ही कुड नेम सम पीपल एंड ही कुड कंक्लूड एज़ फार एज़ शुभम इज कंसर्न शुभम यू स्टॉप्ड यू कुड नॉट इंट्रोड्यूस बिकॉज़ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग द स्ट्रक्चर सो यू स्टॉप एंड आप बीच में भी बिल्कुल चुप रहे शुभम इनर्शिया से बाहर आओ और बोलना स्टार्ट करो चाहे कुछ भी बोलना है हिंदी में बोलना है बोलो इफ यू वांट टू स्पीक इन हिंदी दे आर परमिटिंग यू नो अडेज इन पब्लिक सेक्टर सो स्पीक इन हिंदी इफ यू वांट बट एंटर एंड स्पीक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो आपको बोलने का पहला प्रैक्टिस करना है शुभम एंड दिस इज जस्ट इनर्शिया नथिंग एल्स इनर्शिया को तोड़ो और बीच में बार बार बोलना स्टार्ट करो पूरा सेंटेंस नहीं बोलना कुछ वर्ड्स बोलो बट बोलो एज फार एज अंकित इज कंसर्न अंकित आपको शुरू में इनर्शिया था 
और आप कॉपी को देख के बोल रहे थे कॉपी को देख के बात नहीं करना है मैंने आपको पहले बोला कॉपी को जस्ट देखना है क्लाइंस थ्रू करना है बात नहीं करना है एंड देन आपने जो पहली बार इंट्रोडक्शन किया उसमें नहीं बोल पाया दूसरे इंट्रोडक्शन में आपने इसको डायरेक्शन भी दिया उसने आपने डिफाइन किया कैपेबिलिटी क्या होता है एक्सपीरियंस क्या होता है आपने उसको डिफाइन किया दैट इज ऑल्सो गुड अप्रोच इन देंस कि जब टॉपिक दिया जाए आपको आपको एक आधा सेंटेंस तो वही मिल जाएगा कि उसको डिफाइन कर दो कि फ्रेंड्स एक्सपीरियंस वॉट आई एम अंडरस्टैंड इज एक्वायरिंग द नॉलेज विद पेस ऑफ टाइम एंड कैपेबिलिटी वट आई अंडरस्टैंड इज अ टेम्परामेंट फॉर पर्टिकुलर जॉब तो मेरे को लगता है ये है तो डेफिनेशन कैन बी अ गुड स्टेटमेंट टू स्टार्ट विथ उसके बाद आपने इसको अच्छे तरीके से बीच में पार्टिसिपेट करते रहे आपके उसको पार्ट डिस्कशन के अंदर लेकिन थोड़ा सा रिफाइन करना पड़ेगा अंकित आपको और डेकोरम मेंटेन करने की ट्राई मत करो डिस्कशन में इफ समी इज नॉट लिस्निंग डोंट से प्लीज लिसन टू अदर्स एंड ऑल दैट इज अ ड्यूटी ऑफ ऑब्जर्वर नॉट यूर्स डोंट डू दैट हिमांशु हिमांशु कैप्टन सेंग दैट हिमांशु सेट दैट इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड sorry himanshu said it is a relevant topic and it is a general topic relevant is not the word it is interesting is the word you should say that it is a interesting topic relevant to me keh sakte hai isko current relevant nahi hai interesting and general bol sakte hai isko experience of capability ko himanshu ne define kiya what is the meaning of that baat mein ayushman ne jo statement di usko support bhi diya ki ayushman i support your statement he was second person uh, in the second part uh, to enter he gave some examples of uh, ias ips people and uh, as i always say that example and data help agar aapko aur lamba chauda example nahi mil rahe apne example de do lekin examples hamesha de do log usko sunte hain examples ho quotations ho data ho they are always good you have to say that so himanshu kept on participating in between that was good part that also he played a good role in that then comes ayushman uh, he said the team mein both people are required that is very good uh, statement uh, uh, basically lekin introduction was not very good by ayushman because he just said one line about the topic and that's it you could have uh, spoken two three lines ayushman so structure you have followed but then lines you did not follow after that you should have done that maybe the topic was under your grip which i could understand later on so topic agar control mein to introduction then jaldi kyun khatam kar diya uh yes you are not to obstruct sandeep that you should not do then he said capability should be guided by experience he gave example of dhoni virat and all so that is also good thing so start giving examples and this is how it is to be done so that's all uh, from my side in fact you know i always believe that uh, if you stick to the structure and uh, you keep uh, speaking in between examples data thoda thoda doge aur practice ye jo tum bol rahe ho yahi practice hai to aise gd yahan baith ke karte rahenge so automatically problem nahi aata अगर आप मेरे से सोचते नहीं है सर एकदम से सोचते नहीं है वर्ड्स नहीं सोचते एकदम से बोलते नहीं है ना प्रैक्टिस है आयुष्मान दिस ऑल प्रैक्टिस एक्सपीरियंस यू नो अगेन द ब्यूटी ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो सो आप देखोगे कि सडनली यू वन फाइंड यू विल रियलाइज कि नहीं यार आपका स्किल इंप्रूव हो रहा है प्रैक्टिस से प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट इज अ वेरी गुड स्टेटमेंट वेरी वेरी गुड स्टेटमेंट प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ेगी लेकिन प्रैक्टिस विदाउट लर्निंग इज वेस्टेज so when when you come here you invest your one hour with me go back write your learnings write ke acha where you lack and what you have to learn that learning part has to be there next time come conscious mind i am not to make the same mistakes every day there should be some kind of improvement you have to judge yourself whether you are improving every day or not and if you do that these these things are nothing and that will becomes the way of life you know it it does not become only to get job where you people are sitting maybe for seeking some particular opportunity or job where i am sit- sitting i am creating ventures life is learning life long learning process hota hai every time when i participate in gd i also do self analysis how i can make it even better how i can make it even good uh, so that it becomes easy for students because my role is as a teacher as a mentor to make learning very easy and interesting and comfortable so learning has to be there every time if you are sitting with conscious mind कि मेरे को इसमें सीखना है कुछ एम टू लर्न समथिंग तो आपको आ जाएगा देन इट वॉन्ट बी ट्रबल सो कम विद मेंटेलिटी एंड यू विल डू दैट सर ये लैंग्वेज से कितना रहता है इसमें रोल जैसे हिंदी में बोलो डोंट वरी फ्लो फ्लो इज इम्पोर्टेंट पैशन एंड फ्लो अगर फ्लो और पैशन में हिंदी में बोलोगे तब भी वो सुनेगा तो आपको तो अपनी बात बोलनी है ना पब्लिक सेक्टर में ट्रबल नहीं आ रहा पब्लिक सेक्टर में तो बोल रहे हैं आप हिंदी में बोलो कोई ट्रबल नहीं आप बोल के देखो क्या ट्रबल है 
सर स्ट्रक्चर जीडी का सर कहां से मिलेगा सर पूरा सर स्ट्रक्चर आप बता रहे थे सर इंट्रोडक्शन वाला कंक्लूजन वाला नहीं ये एक्चुअली क्या है जीडी के फोल्डर पे आप जाओगे ना तो वहां बहुत से वीडियोस पड़े हुए हैं यू यू हां सर जीडी की वेबसाइट पे पड़े हुए हैं वो और जैसे मैंने रिकॉर्ड किया तो जो मैंने लास्ट में बोला ना उसमें मैं क्लासिफिकेशन देता हूं सारा तीन तीन वीडियोस हैं अगर आप योर पीडीए अगर आप YouTube चैनल पे डालोगे हाउ टू स्टार्ट जीडी एंड ऑल हाउ टू कंक्लूड जीडी हाउ टू एंटर इन जीडी ये तीन वीडियोस सुन लेना ये बहुत रेलेवेंट वीडियोस हैं जीडी को इनिशिएट करने के हाउ टू स्टार्ट जीडी हाउ टू कंक्लूड जीडी हाउ टू एंटर इन जीडी दैट्स इट यस आई हैव माय जीडी ऑन थर्सडे सर वे व्हाट आई शुड फोकस इन शॉर्ट टाइम सी आई थिंक व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन आर टुडे इज मंडे वी कैन हैव अगेन टुमारो यस एंड वी कैन अगेन डे आफ्टर टुमारो But only thing is you guys don't come actually. That is the trouble. Sir, I am a villain. Yeah. We had a will. And this comes with only practice. I tell you, this only comes yes, with practice. Sir. So if you people come tomorrow, I can fix it up tomorrow also. Sir, can we do it on alternate days? Every alternate day. We can do that also. So let's keep it on Wednesday. Okay. So uh, Sandeep, uh, just uh, go through those videos, listen to that. Okay. And uh, yeah. stick to structure. Just okay. to follow the structure. Yeah. Stick to structure and see the topics which are there. Topics which are rele- relevant current topics on right. website. Go to website, see the current topics. Yeah. And uh, stick to structure. And Wednesday, we go for some one more. Okay. Sure. Yes. Right. Sir, one question I want to ask. Sir, sir, if sir, if we mix use, we use Hindi English. Sir, or sir, no one, no one, no pure English. Sir, 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 sir. सर गलत इंपैक्ट तो नहीं डालता सर मिक्स यूज करना हिंदी यार गलत इंपैक्ट तब पड़ेगा अगर तुम दोनों इसलिए मिक्स कर रहे हो कि तुम्हें अंग्रेजी नहीं आ रही फिर तुम हिंदी में जा रहे हो लेकिन अगर पता ही नहीं चल रहा है इंग्लिश हिंदी आप ये जब मैं बोलूंगा हिंदी बोल रहा हूं और वेदर आई एम स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश यू विल नॉट बी इन पोजीशन टू टेल मी कि मैं हिंदी और इंग्लिश में कंफर्टेबल हूं कि नहीं मैं इक्वल फ्लो में बोल रहा हूं और जब मैं इक्वल फ्लो में बोल रहा हूं तो पता तक नहीं चलता आपने हिंदी में बोला है इंग्लिश में इट्स ऑल अबाउट मेंटेनिंग फ्लो It's all about maintaining flow. It is not that if you speak Hindi without a flow, it will be difficult. And that is true for yes. every language actually. So yes. Hindi English may matter karta hai flow or topic. Right? So if you speak Hindi, it will be very good. You can't do Hindi in Hindi. You can participate in Hindi. But flow maintain. But those 4-5 lines that have started the structure, follow that structure. Follow that structure, right? Yes sir okay then uh, see you on wednesday and keep learning on this right